story. A Holocaust survivor is being honored in Santa Barbara for her years of inspiring students, both locally and across the nation. And Meredith sat down with her on Monday to share her powerful story, from thinking she would not make it out of a concentration camp alive to having dinner with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Pretty yeah. remarkable woman. Very remarkable woman, guys. You know, Judy Meisel <laughs> celebrated her 85th birthday in February, and she's been more been through more than any of us can imagine, but she ended up being a strong leader and role model for students and even adults of all ages across Santa Barbara. The hunger, the thirst, the fright. We were totally dehumanized. A horrific memory from Judy Meisel's childhood spent in a Nazi concentration camp. Because I was already with one foot in the gas chamber. My mother and I watched my mother die in the gas chamber. And so you can't describe those things. But this Santa Barbara native Everybody never gave up hope and today reflects back on her accomplishments after moving to the United States and becoming an educator and civil rights advocate. The most important thing is to point them out what's happening up in the world today. The hatred is there and we have to stop and work at Hatred. Practicing and preaching to students for decades what she learned from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. His speeches taught us, all of us who were involved, that we will not get it with anger and we won't get it with destruction and by fighting with guns and all that. Now, in her 85th year, Judy's beginning a new chapter of her life, moving closer to her son in Minnesota. But her legacy here will not be forgotten, as it will be honored in a scholarship fund for students. Judy's done so much for other people, and Judy has a love for children. She has a love for education, and I share that with her, that if everybody was just educated a little bit more, the world would be safer in a better place. Judy's only wish, those who earn the scholarship pay it forward. Her motto? For everything you do good, it comes back tenfold. You know, I think what summarizes even more what an amazing woman she is, what she told us was she was asked if the recipient of the scholarship should be a Holocaust survivor or an African American, but she said it doesn't matter the race or the nationality, every child, every student she wants to help succeed if possible. So um, you can actually, if you want to contribute to the scholarship fund, uh, we have more information on our website. And to keep it going and keep her memory here in Santa Barbara. Yeah, All she's right, going to be missed. She's moving, right? Yeah, right. Minnesota. Yeah. Inspiring story. All right, great story. Thank you, Meredith. Uh, more headlines.